माइक चेक माइक चेक वन टू थ्री माइक चेक बाल ठीक है क्या अस्सलाम वालेकुम बांग्लादेश तो कैसे हैं आप सब दोस्त उम्मीद करता हूँ सब ठीक होंगे मेरी वीडियोस को लाइक शेयर और कमेंट्स कर रहे होंगे और एंजॉय भी कर रहे होंगे तो आज मैं आपके लिए एक और ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो लेकर आया हूँ वीडियो बहुत ही अच्छी होने वाली है एक लेटेस्ट अपडेट है आई थिंक बांग्लादेश एक ईस्टलैंड पर रोहिंग्या के रेफ्यूजीज को जो है शिफ्ट करने जा रहा है तो इससे काफ़ी जो है ना इंडियन मीडिया क्रिटिसाइज कर रहा है तो बहुत बड़ा प्रगंडा भी किया गया इंडियन मीडिया की तरफ से तो लेट्स सी देखते हैं कि कैसा उनके लिए अरेंजमेंट किया गया और किस वजह से इंडियन मीडिया इस चीज़ को बहुत ज़्यादा हाईलाइट और क्रिटिसाइज कर रहा है तो देर नहीं करते चलते हैं हम फॉरेन वीडियो की तरफ तो सबसे पहले आप लोगों से रिक्वेस्ट है जो भी इस वक्त मेरे चैनल पर न्यू है प्लीज़ चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें और साथ ही बेलाइकन दिया हुआ है उसको प्रेस कर दें तो क्या इस वीडियो स्टार्ट करने लगा हूँ मैं थ्री टू वन लेट्स को Bangladesh meanwhile is relocating 1 lakh Rohingya refugees. They're being mm. moved to new facilities <clears throat> at the Bashanchar island. A report by the local press describes the new site as a quote unquote better home for the Rohingyas. It will have amenities of a higher standard, buildings for the Rohingyas to live in, with hospitals, community clinics and a police station. Here's a ground report by Beyond's Lakmina Jasmine Soma. Until 2 years ago, Bhashan Char was covered in a shroud of grass and mangrove trees. But now the desolate area wow. has taken a new look altogether with buildings painted pink. The island which emerged in the Bay of Bengal in 2002 has been developed as an eco-friendly human habitat. to relocate nearly 1 lakh rohingyas to relieve the overcrowded mainland camps in cox's bazar where around 1 million took shelter after fleeing a military crackdown in kafi khoobsurat banaya on a visit to bhashan char it was observed that the project had been implemented around the concept of cluster villages to house more than 1 lakh rohingyas The Bangladesh Navy was given the responsibility to implement the project. Two British companies worked as consultants for onshore and offshore activities. The project was executed at a cost of about 3100 crore takas. All the buildings have been constructed 4 feet above the ground and every cluster has 12 houses with 16 rooms and a four-story steel structure shelter station. There are 1440 rooms and 120 shelter stations in 120 cluster villages. Every room can accommodate 4 people. In case of any calamity, 860 people can stay at the shelter stations which can withstand cyclones with speeds of about 260 kilometers an hour. Bashanchar is ready to receive nearly 1 lakh Rohingya refugees from houses for living, solar panels for electricity, biogas fuel for cooking and waste management, uh, cyclone centers, uh, mobile networks, everything is uh, available for them. Still, Rohingya refugees are not interested to come here uh, saying it's a cyclone prone area. They are concerned that that uh, what they will do in any emergency case uh, as it is uh, disconnected from mainland they are also saying that uh, it will be so difficult for them to uh, communicate with their relatives about the island's vulnerability to cyclones the project director says that the embankment had been constructed after studying history and data of the last 176 years 12 kilometers off the embankment at a height of 9 feet had already been completed and work was underway to increase the height to 19 feet it's a uh, isolated kono island na it's a thick it's not an isolated island it's an island like sandweep and hatia if you climb on the roof of this building you will see sandweep on one side and hatia island on the other the facilities of the shelter here are more than those of the two islands for example sandweep has a shelter center for 4000 people whereas the shelter center is for only 1000 people besides the shelter centers are very close to home the 12.1 km dam that we have erected has made it easier to face with the number of recent storms such as fani Amphan and Bulbul even the water was out of the dam at that time 
Two 20-bed hospitals and four community clinics have been constructed. There is a police station and a police post on the island. There are two playgrounds for the Rohingya children and there is some space available for playing in every cluster house. There are also places for prayers, burials and markets. Accommodation has been made available for officials of the government, the UN and NGOs. There are also two helipads. Trees are in abundance on the island. The scope for earning an income is limited in the existing Rohingya camps in Cox's Bazar. In contrast, there will be various avenues for means of livelihood on Bhashanchar. According to the Bangladesh Navy, the possible ways of earning can be fishing, poultry farming, sheep and cattle rearing and providing different community services. The Bangladesh Navy has already planted paddy, vegetables and trees there. Despite these developments due to the objection of the Rohingyas, the relocation process has got stuck and the government is concerned that this costly infrastructure might fall into disuse and consequent ruin if the relocation does not take place in a year and a half. The UN has emphasized the importance of undertaking an independent and thorough technical and protection assessment of the site taking into account considerations of safety, sustainability and protection issues prior to any relocation taking place. The assessment process should include on-site's visit to Bhashanchar. Lakmina Jasmine Soma from Bhashanchar for Vion World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Friends, the video is finished and the original creator will be linked in the description below. You can go there too. So I was watching that many facilities in the Bangladesh government have been given to the island. लेकिन फिर भी जो है ना लाइक लोग ऐसे ही मुफ्त में क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे हैं बांग्लादेश गवर्नमेंट को मींस के एक और कंट्री से रिफ्यूजीज आए हैं ठीक है वो उनकी कुछ मतलब कि रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज तो नहीं बनती थी उन पर बट फिर भी उन्होंने एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ये चीजें सोची और उनको एक अलग स्पेस थी रहने के लिए प्लस अब उस पर इतनी ज्यादा इन्वेस्टमेंट करके वो बिल्डिंग्स वहाँ पे स्टेबल किए हैं और कंस्ट्रक्शन किए हैं पुलिस स्टेशंस बनाए हैं स्कूल्स बनाए हैं और डिफरेंट प्लेग्राउंड्स बनाए हैं वहाँ पे रहने के लिए मार्केट्स बनाई हैं लाइक वहाँ पे डेली यूजेज में जो चीज़ें आएंगी टेली कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम वहाँ पे लगाया है ठीक है मीन्स के सारी फैसिलिटीज दी हैं जो एक सिटी के अंदर होती हैं बट फिर भी इंडियन मीडिया पता नहीं क्यों इसको क्रिटिसाइज कर रहा था और मुफ्त में इसका प्रोपागेंडा बनाया जा रहा था लेकिन मेरे हिसाब से काफ़ी कुछ वहाँ पर जो है ना बहुत सारी फैसिलिटीज ऐसी थी जो कि नॉर्मल एरियाज में भी नहीं होती लाइक गांव में भी नहीं होती जो फैसिलिटीज़ वहाँ पर थी और वो भी बिल्कुल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट कोई उसमें ये नहीं कि उसको चार्ज किया जाएगा तो ये एक बहुत अच्छा इनिशिएटिव था मुझे तो लगा कि इसको मतलब बल्कि सपोर्ट करना चाहिए डिफरेंट कंट्रीज को सपोर्ट करना चाहिए लेकिन एज यूजल इंडियन मीडिया उसकी तो क्या ही बात है तो मुझे तो बहुत अच्छी लगी वीडियो आप लोगों को कैसी लगी अगर अच्छी लगी हो तो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट तो लाजमी बनता है तो नेक्स्ट वीडियो तक के लिए अपने भाई को इजाजत दीजिए मिलते हैं एक ब्रांड न्यू एनदर वीडियो के साथ बाय बाय